Hey, what's up, SaaS Masters? My name is George, and today I want to show you an interesting deal called WordProof. This one lets you protect the content that you're writing on your WordPress site. Now, if you're a content writer, you know it's going to take you hours and maybe even days to write one blog post. So it's not fair that someone just goes along and steals that content. So what WordProof does, it lets you have a way and a mechanism to actually WordProof it where it actually adds a timestamp where you were the first one to write it. And it also gives you a way to use it in a, if you have to open up a dispute, for example, on Google or maybe a lawsuit so that it gives you that. Now, I'm not going to sugarcoat this because at the end of the day, it is possible that someone's going to steal your content, but it just gives you that extra layer of protection. And what I'm going to do right now is going to talk about the deal that's going on for WordProof and we're going to actually test it out to show you how it actually works so you can implement it on your site because it's actually pretty easy to get it installed and start using it right away. So let's go jump over to that deal right now. Okay, guys, this is the WordProof deal that's going on right now, and it starts off at $99 for a lifetime deal. So that means that if you pay once, you don't have to pay month to month. You just pay once and that's all. And it's going to renew every single month by itself. Now, if you guys want to grab that deal and help me out with a small commission, that link will be in the description. If you guys want to buy directly, go ahead. That's no problem. Now, let me show you what that plan actually gets you. I think it's a bit expensive because it's only one single site. So if you have multiple sites, then it can get really expensive, all right? Now, what does that actually include? Well, like I said, one website, you get 25 timestamps per month. So each month it comes, it refreshes, and you have 25 timestamps a month. What is a timestamp? Every time that you write a blog post or you update a blog post, it's gonna timestamp it, all right? So 25 might not be enough for many people, but for most of us, it's enough, all right? And at the beginning, you're going to get a 100 bonus timestamp. So it's going to start off the first month with 100. And you can use those because maybe you have previous blog posts and you want to timestamp those. Well, that's possible. Automated timestamping. It's really easy to get started. Content certification pop-up, text link button widgets, download certificate, structured data for SEO, and premium support with them. Okay, let's go into WordProof dashboard now this is a dashboard if you guys want to add a new website super easy just add the website here select what you want what platform you want to use wordpress shopify or via api select the type of blockchain eos is the one that's um used and if you're a paying customer like month to month with them you can use ethereum and you also have telos okay so that's the blockchain that you want to use now i already added my site test.sasmaster and out of the 100 timestamps that I got, I've used two already, which I will be showing you right now. And this is coming soon, a WordProof monitor. I guess it's going to monitor if someone writes the content somewhere else or if a modification is made without your knowledge. So that's going to monitor that. Okay, let's go into my test WordPress site. And it's super easy to get started. I already installed the plugin. Just search for the plugin, install it, add the key that you're going to get in your dashboard, and you're good to go. Now, what you're gonna view at the beginning is this setup process. And let's just get started here so you can check it out. So you're gonna start setup. This is how it's going to start. Obviously, I already add the key, so I'm just gonna continue. And it's gonna ask me, what do I want to timestamp? Do I wanna type timestamp the post, which are the blog posts, the pages? In my case, I don't want to wordproof those. The attachments, I don't also I don't want to wordproof those, but you can. And do you want to show revisions to your visitors? Yes or no? I've said it to yes. Let's continue. Now, this one's really interesting. Each In each single blog post on the footer, not a footer, on the bottom of the blog post, you're going to view that little link right there, which is this text that's right here. Now, I would take advantage of this text to write actually something that would scare people off from stealing your content. So in my case, I would say this content is protected by WordProof, and I will, um, how would you say... Uh, I will open up a dispute if the content is stolen or just something that that will say that so it scares people. For now, I'll just leave it like it is just so you guys check it out. But like I said, I would take I would add something that's more powerful like so they don't steal the content. Save and continue, finish set up, and you're good to go. Now you have options to timestamp the old blog post and the new ones. For now, the new ones are gonna be timestamped automatically, but you can timestamp in bulk. For example, posts, pages, and attachments. You have the settings options right here. So for example, if you need to update what it says right here, the options that we said before, and the setup, we saw that, and support. So let's go ahead and go one of the to one of the timestamps we've wrote already. So let's go here. This is a blog post. Like I said, this is a test site. And here is that 
on the bottom of the, of the post, that link that we have there. Now, if I click on it, this would be for someone, for example, if someone's viewing your site as a client or just a visitor, they'll view this, right? So the content has not been changed. They can view this information here. Do you discover how this content changed over time? So we can view that previous versions. So in this case, I've added this test change. So it actually notifies that there's been changes on this because it's been timestamped, all right? We got the explanation for the users, timestamp check. Let's go check that out. Here's the blockchain hash, raw content. We have the raw input right there and view on blockchain. Now this information that you're viewing is information that's key if you want to go ahead and file a dispute or a lawsuit because it's actually time stamping with a blockchain that can't be modified. You can't modify this information, nor can they do it. So it's a way to actually prove that you wrote it first, okay? So it's gonna have all that information of who wrote it first, what time was it wrote, and all of that. So if someone steals the content, you have that information. So it's kind of those two layers of thing. One is that people actually view right here that it's actually timestamped and you have a way to actually dispute this. And second of all, if you need to go through, through that dispute process, you have something that's, you know, that you can actually use and say, hey, you know what, here's the proof. That's how it actually works. And like I said before, I am not gonna sugarcoat this because at the end of the day, you can still grab this content and go ahead and copy and paste it somewhere else, right? But at least you have that knowledge there. And the users, your clients, and the visitors can actually see that you were the one who wrote this and you give them more um, that sense that you are the original writer and it's good to be here and watch that content because it's worth seeing it there. So that is the actual thing, how WordProof works. Like I mentioned before, the price, it's okay if you have one site, but if you have several sites, that could get really expensive. And on the other hand, if you need more than 25 timestamps per month, then this deal would not be enough. So that's something that you have to consider if this is worth it or not for you. So let me know what ideas you have if you're using another type of software that does this. Leave it in the comments and let me know what you actually think about this deal in the comments. Well, I thank you all for watching and at the end of the day, like I said before, if you guys would like to support me and buy the deal from this link, it gives me a small commission and it helps me out with the videos I'm making for you guys. Well, I'll see you guys later.